SharePoint Admin Center is a web-based interface that allows the administrators to manage SharePoint environment. To manage SharePoint environment, you need to be a SharePoint administrator or a global administrator. To access SharePoint Admin Center, you will go to portal.office.com. You will log in with global administrator or SharePoint administrator credentials. Then you will click on admin tile on the left. And from Microsoft 365 Admin Center, under admin centers, you will click SharePoint and you will be redirected to SharePoint Admin Center. In this video, we will learn how to create SharePoint sites from SharePoint Admin Center. To create a new site in SharePoint Admin Center, you will expand sites and go to active sites. On active sites page, you see an option create. Now, if you click on this option from here, either you can select a team site, you can create a team site or you can create a communication site. If you talk about the difference between a team site and a communication site, a team site is used for collaboration. A team site has a Microsoft 365 group associated and the membership of the team site is managed from the Microsoft 365 group that is associated with the team site. Whereas a communication site is used to share information. A communication site doesn't has a Microsoft 365 group associated and the permissions for the communication site are managed from the site itself. So first let's select team site. Under select a template, you can select any template that you want to use to create this team site. I'll go with standard team template and click use template. Now here we will give a name to this particular team site. For example, any random name. You can add a site description as well, like this. And then we have group email address. Now this particular name will be assigned to the Microsoft 365 group that will be created along with this team site. And under site address, you can see the complete URL of this site. This is my tenant initial domain and this is SharePoint.com. So this is the site name that is going to be created. And this site will be created under sites root site. And under group honor, we will add an honor. Let me add myself and click next. Under privacy settings, you can select if you want to create a private team site or a public team site. This particular privacy setting is for Microsoft 365 group that will be created along with this team site. So if you select private, the privacy type of that Microsoft 365 group will be private. If you select public, then the group privacy type will be public. I'll set it as private and we are good with the language. Let's select the time zone as well. And click create site and let's add a couple of members. And click finish. So the site is created. This is our site name, ABC Team Site. And to open the site from SharePoint Admin Center, you will go to SharePoint Admin Center. You will expand sites. You will click Active Sites. And then you will simply click on the URL of the site. And this will open the SharePoint site that we just created or any site that you have under SharePoint Admin Center. So this is our team site with name ABC team site. And on the right, we can see we have three members. Concepts user is the owner and Bob Ross and Peter Smith are members of this particular site. Now let's create a communication site. The process will remain same. 
you will go to SharePoint Admin Center, Sites, Active Sites, click Create. And this time, we will select Communication Site. We will go with the standard template and Use Template. Here, we will give a name, for example, ABC Com Site. Let's add description. This is a communication site. Now, if you notice here, it is not giving us the group email address or the group name because the communication site doesn't have a Microsoft 365 group. So under site address, we can see the URL of this site. And this is going to be site address. And this is the complete URL. This is our tenant name. SharePoint.com sites is the root site. And this is going to be the address of this particular site. And let's add honor. Next. Let's change the time zone. Click create site. So the site is created and this is our site, ABC com site. Let's open the site. So this is our communication site and this is our team site. Now there is another type of SharePoint site in SharePoint online. Team site without Microsoft 365 group. This site looks like a team site, however, this site doesn't has Microsoft 365 group associated and the permissions of this site are managed from the site itself. So to create a team site with no Microsoft 365 group, you will again click create. But you will not select team site because this option is going to create a team site with the Microsoft 365 group. So instead of this, you will click here, browse more sites and under choose a template, make sure you have selected team site and let's give it a name. Let's say team site two. This is a team site with no group. This is going to be site address and this is the complete URL. And let's add the honor. Next, let's select the time zone. Create site. So the site is ready, ABC team site two. Now if we scroll it towards right, the first site is communication site. Then we have team site. And this one is team site, no Microsoft 365 group. So this particular team site doesn't has a group associated. And let's open this site. So this site looks like a team site like we have here. This is also a team site and this has a group associated. But if we look at this, it doesn't say group type and we do not see the number of members within this site. Like we can see here, private group and three members. We do not see it here. This is a team site, but this doesn't has a group connected. Now let's see how to manage the properties of a SharePoint site in SharePoint Admin Center. To manage the properties of a SharePoint site, Either you can click on the site, then you will click edit. This will open the properties page or you can simply click on the site name and this will also open the properties page. So let's talk about these properties one by one. Under general tab, we can see the site info. This is the basic information about a particular site. Under site name, we can see the site name that we can see here. If you want to edit the site name, you can edit it from here. Then you have the site address, which is the complete URL of this site. And if you want to change this particular address, 
like for this site it is abc com site if i want to add it you can simply click on edit and you can type the name here for example like this and you can see it is changing the complete address of this site so like this you can change the address then we have hub association that indicates if this particular site is associated with the hub site this particular site is not associated with any hub site that is why it says none but if you want to associate a site with the hub site you can click edit and under select a hub you will select your hub name for example this and click save this particular site will be associated with the hub site then you have description this is the description that we added while creating this site you have the domain name this is your tenant name on which your sharepoint tenant is registered like you see here at the top this is my tenant name and same you see here then you have template that indicates that what type of site this is so this is the communication site and under created you can see the date and time when it was created who created it and it was created from sharepoint admin center then we have activity under activity you can see the site activities like the last site activity file stored number of pages viewed in last 30 days how much storage is used by this particular site you can see the number of times a file was opened or edited so this is the activity on the particular site under membership you can see the membership of this site who are the members who are the owners who are the site admins and who are the site visitors so under site admins we have this user who is the site administrator for this particular site under site owners you can see the owners under site members we have the members who have added permission on this site as of now there is no site member added and we do not have any site visitor as well now this membership tab will differ for a team site and a communication site within this communication site at the top where you see communication site this is the site name and these are the site groups like site owners site members and site visitors but if i open a team site for example the second one is team site let's open this and go to membership for this team site we can see private group so that means this particular team site is connected to a microsoft 365 group and if i click on site owners it says abc team site owners abc team site is the group name that is connected to this site so that means any user who is added on the group level that user will have access to the sharepoint site and all the services those are connected to the microsoft 365 group now for your information a microsoft 365 group has a mailbox it has a calendar it has a microsoft team associated it has a sharepoint site connected and it can be associated with microsoft planner so if you are adding a user on the group level permissions in a team site that user will get access to all the applications those are associated with this particular group but if i add any user within the communication site that user will be added on the site level because the communication site doesn't has a group associated then we have settings under settings you can manage the sharing permissions for this particular site as an administrator you can decide if you want to allow the users of your tenant to share the files and folders of this sharepoint site with anyone with new and existing guest users with existing guest users who are already added within your tenant or only with the people in your organization under sensitivity labels you can see if any sensitivity label is applied on the site or not and under custom scripts you can allow or block the users from running scripts for this site so this is all about sharepoint site properties